Game four is happening right now and it's almost over. It sure is. Let's go live to Chaz Miller in Philly. Chaz, Astros fans should be leaving with some smiles. Yeah, I absolutely think they should be leaving with a smile on their face. What a difference 24 hours makes. Last night, everybody leaves here dejected, and I'm burying the lead. The Astros did not give up a hit tonight. A combined no-hitter from their bullpen and their starters. Christian Javier started, and then came in Brian Abreu. Then came in Rafael Montero, and it was all finished up by Ryan Presley. Only the second time in the history of baseball a no-hitter has been thrown in the World Series. It hasn't happened since 1956 when Don Larson did it for the New York Yankees. So not only do the Astros even up this series two games apiece here in Philadelphia, they make history while they're doing it with a combined no hitter. Yesterday we talked to a lot of sad Astros fans after the game. Obviously tonight it's going to be a much different story. The Astros fans loud today. The Phillies fans, they were a lot quieter which obviously you could be expecting because the Phillies just couldn't get anything going tonight. But the fact that the Astros did this on the road in Philadelphia after last night's clunker of a game, they come out today, they score five runs, and they throw that combined no-hitter. Well, it's a good night to be an Astros fan, and we will talk to all sorts of them as they leave Citizens Bank Park on this happy, happy Wednesday night if you came here in blue and orange tonight. Yeah. Live at Citizens Bank Park, I'm Chaz Miller, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Oh, Chaz, they needed this after the record home runs that were hit last night. But let me ask you this. You've been in Philly now for several days covering these games. How have Philly fans, fans been treating you and some of the Astros fans you're talking about, talking to there? They've been kind of what you would expect, but they also kind of entertain me like in a strange way after being here for a few days and getting yelled at a bunch. It's kind of sort of strangely endearing, but if you didn't <laughs> like it, I could also see that because they don't uh, they don't bite their tongues much. And I just kind of take it as a, a sign of love. It's their way to express love up here. OK, well, we'll go with that then. Chaz, Chaz is a better man than us. It's, it's, some, uh, it's something. Thanks, Chaz.